Shalom. I'm your brother Yeramia from the branch of GMS South Carolina Millens. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. To you I say, Shalom. Pray not for this people. And I'm quoting the book of Jeremiah, the 14th chapter, um, and the 11th verse. Um, you know, dealing with the two-thirds of the house of Israel, man. You know, the undesirables of our nation, you know. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, uh, told us not to pray for them. All right, because the Lord got a heavy judgment reserved for two-thirds of the house of Israel. And I got uh, two clips, you know, just showing you why the Lord is going to, to destroy, you know, the majority of our nation, man. All right, but um, before I play those clips, I'm going to read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and uh, verse 11, in the KJV and in the NLT, man. Okay, so this is Jeremiah 14 and 11, KJV. It says, Then said the Lord, Yehovah Shemah unto me, Pray not for this people for their good. You see, you know, we can't make no intercession. Okay, we can't put up no prayer. We can't beg Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai uh, enough, you know, that he would, uh, you know, spare the two thirds of the house of Israel. All right, because ultimately he has them reserved for his said judgments, man. Okay, and when you read on, it goes into those judgments. Uh, Jeremiah 14 and 12, it says, When they fast, I will not hear their cry. Yeah, the Lord's not going to hear. When they themselves pray until Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And why is that so? Because they turn away their ear from hearing the laws of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Yeah, their prayers are filthy, man. All right, because they're wicked and they are rebellious, man. Okay, they want they don't want to take heed or lay hold on the law, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh Shemal Shah has for us to follow. Okay? So the Lord, you know, told us not to pray for them for their good. You know, we can't throw up a prayer for two thirds of the house of Israel. And they themselves can't even pray to Yahweh Shemal Shah because the Lord is not going to hear them, man. All right, Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 12, it says, When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword. You see, the Lord is going to consume them by the sword and by famine and by the pestilence. So those are the uh, few different judgments. That the Lord is going to hit two thirds with, man. The sword, famine, pestilence, man. So on and so forth. You know, it's going to be uh, a million and one ways the Lord is going to take out two thirds, man. Teeth, teeth the wild beast, you know. Or, or, you know, he can reserve them, man. He can reserve two thirds for a missile. Okay. The second death. All right. But I'm going to uh, play this clip just showing you. Why I brought out that Jeremiah 14 and 11 to pray not for this people for their good, man. All right. And when you see these clips, you're going to understand why the Lord said that, man. Okay. The Lord just wants to destroy two thirds, man, for all their wickedness, man. All right. These are the, the wicked of our nation who continue to sin without repenting, man. Okay. So uh, playing the first clip, man. Oh my, wait, hold up, oh, I don't, 
Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Uh, are you picking my feet? Yes. Oh my gosh. 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 Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. You are so sweet. You want to listen? Uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, we got real fans. Oh. That was a real one. L.A. I never got my toes up. Oh, my gosh, L.A. I never got my toes up. I thought oh, I was walking on your feet. Oh, she is a dog. Like, damn, you I still never... think that you was walking on your feet. It was like, just, yeah, I was walking. So did you have, like, still dirt? They will be black. Look, turn on the light. Oh, turn on the light. Oh. Look, oh look, this shit is a little bit black. It's a little bit black. Yeah, the big toe is clean. Yo, Suki, I don't know why she did that for. You can never say that you want to leave that leg like Well, oh my. That's absolutely disgusting, man. You know, you got a, a fan of Sukiana, which, you know, she's a harlot, you know, pushing poison on our people. Along with Sexy Red. You know, you got a fan right here in this clip of Sukiana. Probably high off something. You know, uh, probably idolizes, you know, and immortalizes uh, Sukiana. Literally sucking her toes, man. And Sukiana sat there and let her do that, man. Okay? This is how two-thirds get down, man, with, with that, uh, that rainbow agenda, man. Okay? When that's clearly against the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know this this place is clearly, evidently, spiritual Sodom, man. Okay, and you know if, if that fan was you know given the opportunity, she would take it all the way there, man. Okay, just could just uh, be as wicked as she could, man. Okay, uh, but this is Leviticus twenty, and. Uh, 13 in the NLT, if any man practices homosexuality, having sex with another man as with a woman, all right, and that's vice versa, if a woman lies down with a woman, okay, you know, that's homosexuality, it says both men have committed a detestable act, man, that's filthy, man, that's disgusting, okay, it says they must both be put to death. And that's according to the law. Alright. And the Lord about to put a lot of Israelites to death man. Okay. All, all the harlots. And the the uh, the, the uh, alphabet gang. The Lord going to put all them niggas to death man. Okay. At least they repent. Okay. But a lot of them they ain't man. It says they must both be put to death. For they are guilty of a capital offense. You see that? That's a heavy offense, man. Okay? You know, she doing that all on the camera, out in the open. You can only imagine behind closed doors, man. You know? So, uh, I'm going to play the uh, next clip, man. We'll be, all, be here all day discussing the, the sins of two-thirds, man. Which they willfully sin. And then you got you got this nigga here, man. Donut burger. Ten foot per me pipe. Real to the fish. I catch you on the next one. Yeah. Watch this. Look that right there. All right, with that, that snake done been baptized. Look at that. I catch you on the next one. So all we doing right here, we just filleting a little meat off of it right there. Look at that meat that we got off there right there. Catch our own next one. Right there. Come on, man. Let's make a snake donut burger. Jake eating boa constrictor donut burgers, man. You know, eating snake. Come on, clearly against the law, man. That's man. Jake completely dumb, man. Okay, 
you know, I'm I'm from the country, you know, South Carolina, but you know these these niggas, man, make the South look bad, man. Eating a damn whatever snake boa constrictor burger, man, donut burger, man. Okay, they completely threw. So in the law, Leviticus, the dietary law, Leviticus, the eleventh chapter. And the, the title says, Ceremonially Clean and Unclean Animals. All right, but jumping straight to the point, Leviticus 11 and 9. Of all the marine animals, these are ones you may use for food. You see, the ones you can eat, right? You may eat anything from the water if it has fins and scales. Do a damn snake have fins and scales, man? Okay, is it even a fish? No, man. But here Jake kill and, and barbecue and fry and broil any damn thing, you know, they want, man. Shrimp, lobster, crab, all right? Clearly don't got fins and scales, man. All right? It says, you may eat anything from the water if it has both fins and scales. Whether taken from the salt water or from streams, okay? It says, but you must never eat animals from the sea or from rivers that do not have both fins and scales. They are detestable to you. This applies both to little creatures that live in shallow, shallow water and to all creatures that live in deep water. So that includes a damn snake, man. Can't eat a snake. Okay. Uh, Jake on the back end of 2023 eating bear claws, bear feet. You know. Just two thirds are done, man. They're bugged out, man. And that's why the Lord said, pray not for this people. Because the Lord has a, a heavy judgment for two thirds of the house of Israel, man. Okay. Uh, jumping into uh, the Apocrypha, 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 24, it says, Woe, woe means destruction, man. Woe to them that sin, and that's pertaining unto two thirds of the house of Israel, man. Okay, the ones who sin willfully without repenting, man. Okay, two thirds ain't repenting to Yahweh Shemiah Shai. They're not of a contrite spirit. They're not remorseful for what they're doing, man. Okay? And when they're told, what they do? They mock, they scoff, they breast the shoulder. Okay? Two-thirds want to fight you. Okay? For trying to correct them. You see? They're completely bugged out and gone, man. It says, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments. Okay? And guess what? According to... uh. Romans 6 and 23, we're going to pull that real quick out of the New Testament. Romans 6 and 23. And it reads, for the wages of sin is death. What is sin? Transgression against the laws of Yahweh Hashem Shai. 1 John 3 and 4. Sin is the transgression of the law. And it said, for the wages of sin is death. And two-thirds are about to be paid in full, man. They are about to be eradicated, deleted, man. Okay? They're going to they're gonna know the righteousness of the Lord after death by pain, as it reads in uh, Second Edges, the ninth chapter, man. It says, but the gift of the Most High, Yahweh, is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. And that's what the hopeful elect is striving for, man. You see? According to Judges 5 and 11, man, we rehearsing the righteous acts, man. We keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Okay? And not not being a, a, a mo, uh, not eating a damn snake, or whatever you want to eat outside of the dietary law. Okay? You know, those are easy commandments to keep, man. All right, but for two-thirds, they want to continue here in Babylon, man. Because they, they're allowed to be as wicked as they want, man. Because the wicked is ruling, man. And that's why two-thirds going to be destroyed right along with Babylon, man. But the hopeful elect, man, 
you know, we are trying to receive that eternal life, man. Okay? The gift of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, man. We're trying to get that incorruptible crown, man. We're trying to be the first fruits of salvation, man. Okay? And we we not throwing away our crown, our, our salvation, to eat no damn boa constricted burger. All right? Or to lie down with the same sex, man. Okay? It's just not happening, man. But two-thirds, they're going to be as wicked as they want to be. And they're going to be as blind as they want to be, man. All the way until the, the missiles come, man. Okay? All the way until the Lord, you know, destroys them in the lake of fire, man. Which is going to be made out of America. Okay? And reading that again, Second Edges fifteen twenty four. Woe to them that sin, and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord Yahweh Shai. I will not spare them. The Lord's not gonna have no pity on these these wicked niggas, man. All right, and neither should we have pity on. Okay, because we warned them. All right, they they receive warning just as we receive warning, man. Okay, it says I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power, defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, knoweth all them that sin against him. And therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. Ooh, man. That's what's coming to two-thirds, man. Death and destruction. You see the Lord, he's a righteous and a just power, man. All right, he's going to judge every man according to his works, man. All right, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's what's wrong with two-thirds, man. They don't fear the Lord, man. You know, thus they have a lack of knowledge. All right, and why the Lord is going to destroy them. Okay. Why, why the, the mercy of the Lord ain't going to fall upon them, man. Okay, they're going to feel the Lord's wrath. They don't fear him. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Yeah, our whole duty is to serve the Lord, man. To be servants of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. He gave it unto us as a people, Israel, according to Psalms 147 and 19 through 20. You know, he's not dealing, you know, he ain't dealt so uh, with all the other heathen nations, to roughly paraphrase, but he gave his laws and his statutes unto Israel, man. Okay? Unto Jacob. Unto us, man. Okay? But two-thirds, they want to continue to be uh, Americanized, man. All right? You try to tell them they Israel, man. They, they, they disannul that, man. They want to continue to be black, Hispanics, Native Americans. They want to continue to be Niggas, man. Ch like, niggas like Charleston White. I'm a nigga, you know? And that's what country bumpkins like this nigga and this harlot Sukiana and this damn harlot sucking on her toes. All right? They're they going to continue to be black, man. Okay? It says, verse 14, please ask these 12 and 14, for the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Shall bring every work into judgment. You see, judgment is coming, man. That's what we're telling our people. We're telling our people to repent before that time comes, man. Before the day of the Lord. Okay? But, you know, they're going to have to appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach just as we. Okay? But we want to be, you know, on the good side of the Lord. We want to be rewarded, man. Receive salvation. But two-thirds, man. Man. They got a cold judgment coming to them, man. It says, For the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai, shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Yeah, ain't nothing you can hide from the Lord. Okay? Scripture's going to how the Lord, you know, His eyes is ten times, uh, ten, th ten thousand times, excuse me. I mean, let me not take away from the Lord, man. His, his eyes is uh, ten thousand times uh, brighter than the sun. All right, to roughly paraphrase, I want to see if I can get that scripture, man. Um, 10,000. And I'm pulling up on my, uh, my other sword, uh, my other 
phone with the sword in it. Let me see if I can get that real quick. It's in the Apocrypha. I want to say, uh, let's see, Wisdom of Solomon, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. wrong Sirach. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 23, and uh, verse 19. It says, Such a man feareth only the eyes of men, and knoweth not the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shemar Shai, are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. You see? How you how you gonna hide from a power whose eyes is ten thousand times brighter than the sun? Alright, what you gonna hide in the dark from that power, man? Okay, it says, beholding all the ways of men, all right, all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. Okay, so you see, the Lord is nothing you can hide from him, man. All right, this is why we walk around the earth on eggshells. This is why we fear the Lord, man. Okay, trying to stay in the good graces of the Lord. All right, for one, he have commanded us to do that. Okay. And for, for two, this is our reasonable service, man. All right? This is the whole duty of man to serve the Lord, man. You see? But finishing out on that Ecclesiastes 12 and, and 14. For the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. You see? And the Lord is a just power, man. Okay, going to re reward the good that they elect with salvation, with protection, okay, with blessings. And he's going to reward the wicked, okay, with judgments, man, with torments, with death, man. Okay, so, you know, that's why I opened up and I'll, I'll close it out with that, that scripture. Um, Jeremiah 14 and 11. Then said the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, unto me, Pray not for this people for their good. All right? Pray not for two thirds for their good, man. But we know ain't nothing good coming to these wicked niggas, man. All right. The Lord got something in store for these niggas, man. Okay. They don't want to get right on this side. All right. They're going to get right later, though. Okay. Uh, Jeremiah 14 and 11, NLT. I'll finish it on that. And the title says, The Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai forbids Jeremiah to intercede. You see? Ain't nothing we could do for these niggas, man. Nothing. It says, Then the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai said to me, Pray not for these people anymore. Ooh, don't even pray for them anymore, man. Okay? So I'll end it on that, man. Let, let hey. Mm. Spirit hit me with something, man. Revelation, and I'll end it on this. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Red letter Yahweh Shai. To give every man according as his work shall be. All right? And we want to be doing the righteous work, the holy works of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Not the unjust and, and filthy works of two thirds, man. Okay? They, they, they following after Satan, man. Okay? So, Lord will, this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemel I'm going to end up with giving all praises unto Yahweh Shemel Shai. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. To you I say, Shalom.